Does social media stress you out? It doesn't have to. Check out this week's social media tips and tricks with Heather. Welcome to Social Media Wednesday. I'm Heather and I'm with the Women in Leadership and I'm so excited for today. I am talking about mindfully showing up on LinkedIn. Da -da -da -da. LinkedIn is the place where business is getting done these days. For your organization, your LinkedIn page is the hub of your online business presence. It's where you can amplify your brand, carve out thoughtful leadership, and make meaningful connections. So the big thing with LinkedIn is thought leaders. You're going to hear that a lot today. All of this is only possible if your page gets seen. Followers are the key to organically growing your LinkedIn footprint. More, The more followers you have interacting with your page content, the more followers you get. You know, you know how it goes on social media. So you got to create that momentum, momentum. Okay, so make sure you complete your LinkedIn page completely. Pages with complete information get 30% more views. That's really significant. Tip number one, be findable. Draw traffic from outside LinkedIn. So make sure that you share um, on your website that you're on LinkedIn, or maybe when you're talking to other business owners, say, you know, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Oh, you're on LinkedIn. Oh, let's connect over there. You know, see where they're, they're at. All right. He's Sticky and stay on brand. This is how we, um, this is just the same idea that we do where we pick seven topics for each day of the week and we stay on brand within those seven topics to build that know, like, and trust. So just staying um, true to what you're doing. Don't be all over the place. Be consistent posting your content on your page regularly. Are you tired of hearing this yet? The key to social media consistency. Be flashy. Make use of video and visual content. I love this because that's exactly what we say, right? <laughs> I keep looking over here to Charlie. So if you don't know that, that's why I'm looking over here. Because <laughs> I'm talking to the person in front of me right now, right? <laughs> All right. Be relevant. Publish thought leadership. So making sure you're you're creating original content um, from within your organization. So um, that's really awesome. Being relevant, staying on top of things. Be engaging. So you are going to go in there and respond just like on any other platform. You're going to respond to the people that, that respond to your things. And then to level that up, click on their little face and go to their page and um, interact with their, their, their things that they've posted. And then that boosts you and that, that's how it all works together. All right. Be responsive. Adjust your content based on page analytics. All right. That doesn't mean every single day you're in there changing and tweaking things. This is good for a 30-day review. This is something that's done once a month. Just going over your analytics, look at and seeing what you can um, glean from that information. And if you need help with that, to schedule a consultation with us, we'd be happy to go over your analytics with you and maybe explain to you what some of that means if you don't know or I'm pretty sure we did an episode on that or we'll do it. We'll put it on the list. All right. Um, encourage um, employee involvement. So if it's more than just you, um, you want to encourage um, your internal community to also show up um, appropriately. So we've talked about having that social media plan for the business in the past episodes. Um, so you have your business voice and everybody knows like, what your um what's that c word compliance um zone is you know what you can and can't say the claims you can and can't make um what kind of pictures you can and can use um, making sure you have appropriate permissions for pictures things like that um all lined out um, in your organization look so that's a whole 
whole episode. Okay, and let's help from customers and brand advocates. So um, you want to tell other people, hey, take us on LinkedIn or or um, you meet up for coffee. Maybe you take a picture of both of you and you both, um, you know, cross um, promote each other. Engage with relevant thought leaders on your page updates. So making sure that, you know, you're doing that darn engagement thing. It's just all about engage, engage, engage. Okay, coordinate with influencers. So I, I call this um, business collabs. Like when you're working with somebody else that has a good following and you come together. So when we have a couple of networking ladies and then they come together with their both of their groups of networking, that's that kind of thing, but in the online space. So coming together and doing a podcast where you interview each other or doing just even doing a one-time interview of somebody else um, in, a, in a public forum can create that cross coordination. Okay. Launch a follower ad campaign. So this is like on TikTok when they have a follow train. So like, I like you, you like me, and we follow each other. Everyone that has a a dog, let's all be follow each other, but you know, in the more of a business sense. So it's that kind of idea. So um, it's a great, you can Google Google that launch a follower ad campaign on LinkedIn and you can get a whole bunch of tips for how to do that. But now you understand the idea because with LinkedIn, you have to like know people. So you have to literally grow your circle of influence. Encourage executives and from. Um, prominent thought leaders to at mention your page. So when they do this, then they're they're referencing you. It's that tagging like on other social media platforms, tagging each other so that um, you're again coordinating, crossing, creating multiple ways that people can see your name. Okay, create and maintain showcase pages. I thought this was kind of interesting. So I had to look up what a showcase page is because that was new terminology to me. I was like, what are they talking about? Well, this is the business page, like something that's showcasing just the business as opposed to your personal page. So that's what they're, they're talking about here. So making sure you have the business page and that it's it's consistent to build that know, like, and trust. So you're not all over the place again. Um, that's a very cohesive. And I like it best when it holds the hand to the website. So um, when it, it, it all flows together and looks similar. All right. Analyze your competitors' pages. Now, don't get stuck in this. So this is after you've done a couple months of analytics, after you you know kind of have an idea of what's going on under your page. Then when you look at somebody else's page, you can be like, oh, I like how they interact over here. Or I, I like that I could do this, not as um, why making sure. Um, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> not not in a way that it's like judging yourself. This is a way to like look and grow because if somebody else is doing it, you can do it too. That's the mindset. It's not um, they're better than me. None of that mindset. We're going to throw that out. All right. The, que <laughs> the question of the week, what should I do about my social media mindset? That's perfect. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right. Make sure you have boundaries. You know, you don't have to be just like you're not like standing on the curb talking to people 24 hours a day, right? Having boundaries with social media is a great choice for yourself. When you're on social media, have purpose. Choose what your purpose is. Is this just like I'm scrolling to relax? Is this, I need to boost my algorithm. I'm going to scroll with purpose and set a timer so that I don't get too lost. 
So deciding that. And then when you're having your the intention of growing who you're talking to, and, and that intention is to have relationships, you, your energy around social media shifts and then it will be great for you to try that out. And finally, make sure you ask for help. So if you're struggling with any of the areas around social media, just, you know, hang out with us, um, ask for help, get on a call with us. We're here for you. Thank you so much. We love you. Mwah. Wait, no, that's share. Thank you. We take the mystery and pain out of social media consistency for your business, giving you back time to shine in your zone of genius. Social media is the new branding. It deserves its own attention, thought, and effort. Yet so few businesses actually take this seriously and invest enough time on their strategy. We can do it for you at an affordable rate that will fit into your budget and allow you to pursue other revenue channels as well. The hardest part of social media management is keeping up the consistency to be seen and know what to post, when to post. Are you ready to have everything ready to go for you, saving you time and energy by not having to do it all yourself? Still getting your message out so that people get to know you, like you, and develop trust while opening yourself up to more time for the business of your business where you shine. Working with Women in Leadership, BSMB LLP, is a unique experience that bridges the gap from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual relationship marketing. Not only do we love to help you shine in, on social media, we love to share tools to help you grow with us, body, soul, mind, and business. Check out our podcast and YouTube channel for Mindset Mondays, Social Media Training Wednesdays, business interviews and special topics on Fridays, and weekly readings on Sundays. To schedule your consultation or podcast interview, head to our website, www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get our weekly readings on Sunday, our podcast, Mindset Monday, social media training with Heather on Wednesdays with a live Q&A, and guest interviews and special topics on Fridays. Thank you for joining us. Find out more and schedule with us online at www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com where you have a spot at the table. Thank you for joining in on the fun. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.